I will give a good scientific background of why I believe. Hello, beloveds. Thank you for joining me. I need your help. Yes, this is a cult. And Jesus loves you too. I could talk for hours and hours. I do believe there is um, incredible legitimacy. <laughs> I am starting a robot brothel. And um, please put your faith in me with your money. A good while ago, someone got me onto this uh, subject of Unicol Unicron and the Unicult. I don't know if you've heard of this before, but basically it's a new age cult, which is kind of like, yeah, we're cult, uh, we're a cult and I'm a cult leader. Hello, join. And it's this kind of, you know, weirdness <laughs> with a kind of pop star. I think she calls herself a pop star and public figure and uh, cult leader. The woman who actually runs it, this Unicol Unicron. Yes, this is a cult. And Jesus loves you too. Some of the other aspects with her include claims about dimensions, about how dimensions work, how reality works. And although it's not completely insane, as far as New Age philosophy, spiritual philosophical uh, beliefs, it's not exactly <laughs> the most logical either when you look at it the um, experiences that people have going to other dimensions, whether it be on drugs or whether it be through um, meditation, whether it be through psychosis, all of these things, I do believe that there is legitimacy, even through dreams. Well, I've had experiences and, you know, people have dreams and people have psychosis and, you know, this is so much proof that it must be real and these things are proof of these things being real and it's real as being proof and blah, 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 blah. I love Unicult. And our personal reality sometimes is in harmony with physical reality and sometimes it is in contrast with it. So when you are maybe manic, sometimes I get manic, <laughs> if you haven't noticed, sometimes I get manic and maybe one day I'm manic and I think, I don't believe in gravity anymore and I like go jump off a cliff. Well, is my belief gonna be winning or is physical reality gonna be winning? Go online and search how to join Unicult. Gravity is a social creation, Shelby says, and, and I'm, I'm inclined to believe it too. Or social belief, which is like ideas like, oh, money has value, and oh, um, gender is real, or whatever our society believes. Gravity is a social creation. And you can watch our collective values change, and you can see how your collective, your personal reality interacts with collective or social reality. Thanks for helping me practice telepathy. I will give a good scientific background of why I believe that the other realms are real. Spiritual reality. Spiritual, spiritual reality is the other side of physical reality. It's the unseen aspect of the thing that we're all contending with. It's science. There is truth in physical reality, right? Yes. There are consequences to interacting with physical reality. Yes. Gravity is a social creation. The same is true for spiritual reality. There are rules, there are laws that govern us, and there are consequences to acting in certain ways. Well, it's, it's not much of a philosophy, I know. It's kind of obvious that much of the stuff that she claims to support is in very long videos where she goes over things considerably and doesn't get any nearer to any form of actual science. And I really do think that the um, experiences that people have going to other dimensions, whether it be on drugs or whether it be through um, meditation, whether it be through psychosis, all of these things, I do believe that there is legitimacy, even through dreams. I do believe there is... Um... <laughs> Eventually you get to ultimate reality, which is maybe God, maybe the spirit of uni, whatever you want to think of it as, which is everything all, all at once. That's ultimate reality. Every single perspective through all of time, all at once. It's science. There's an article on Rolling Stone which goes over some of the peculiarities of her work and how her emphasis shifted in 2020 from wacky New Age beliefs and pseudoscience, which is very common in New Age, where they say, we've got the science. Okay, where's the science? It's a matter of opinion and faith and read my book. If you have the money to donate, please donate. And moved into the realm of, well, vaccines be bad. Vaccines are bad. Why are vaccines bad? Uh, because they might not be good 
and we've got a wacky conspiracy theory here which says they aren't good and uh, they're completely untested even though there's considerable testing that's gone on and they've been rushed out but rushed out with a lot of precaution but ignore that because she's got a conspiracy theory that she's pushing and it's become kind of you know a key part of her movement her practice her cult the very real and obvious problem with people like this is that they pass on untrue things to people who perhaps don't know better or perhaps should know better perhaps do know better but they choose to believe things that are false because they would like to believe in fluffy furry fantasy things and hey i can change the reality and if i convince enough other people you know around me enough people around me uh, maybe that'll shift the social consciousness and then you'll cure cancer or you'll end up being immune to covid or whatever the case may be but uh no one of right mind no one who's actually thinking about these things in a critical way is going to buy into this bullshit i mean it's all going to well to have a positive attitude but a positive attitude does not shift reality in that kind of way